Hi, this is Mark Reppermond, and I'm the founder of Pittsburgh Soccer Assigning. I put together this brief tutorial to show you how to use Horizon WebRef, explain some of the functions in there and features, and also to lay out my expectations for you as an official in our relationship. As I said, this is a brief instructional video, and it'll show you some of the main functions as well as some other ones that you can use if you so choose. Before I get started, though, I wanted to tell you that uh, I assigned for a number of clubs, and I wanted to make you aware of that. So I assigned on the classic level for Beedling East, North, and South, Hotspurs North and Harmer, Arsenal, and SCS. I also have some adult teams, some adult leagues, some summer tournaments, and some miscellaneous other things like that. I also assigned for the GLC, Great Lakes Conference, NPL, MDL, uh, GA, and GLA. For as far as local clubs, I assigned for Fox Chapel, for Shaler, for Pine Richland, and Harmerville. I assigned the U5 to U8 also for Fox Chapel and Pine Richland. In addition to that, I do referee training and mentoring for, for Pine Richland and Fox Chapel and do some training for Shaler. So to begin, the first thing you want to do is download the app, the Horizon WebRef app, Horizon WebRef, as you see here on the screen, to your phone and any other devices that you would choose to have or want to use it on. You'll then want to request to join the association that I'm associated with. It's called, or I'm sorry, the number is 205576. When you ask to join that association, I'll be notified and then I will prove it and then you'll be able to log in and begin your setup process. Once you're inside the app, you want to tap on the upper left-hand corner, as I'm doing right now, and you'll want to go down uh, to Profile. So you see Personal Profile? Click on Personal Profile. Name, your address, your phone, your email, birthday, text messaging, etc. There are a bunch of other things you can do in there, and if you're part of a, any other associations that use Horizon WebRef, you'll do that down below. Um, one of the most important things you do in here is, is not only to set up your birthday, your uh, email, but is also uh, text messaging. That is one of the most important things you will do in Horizon WebRef. Why? Because it is how you get notified the most efficiently and the fastest. When you receive a game offer, the system will send you an email. It will give you a text alert. And if your phone's set up to do this, you will get a notification on your phone as well, notifying that you, that you have just been offered a game by Horizon WebRef and by me. Uh, also, the really, really important reason to have text alerts set up is because when a game cancels, it will notify you via text alert, not just by email. So for instance, you've got a nine o'clock game at Shadyside Academy. It's a half hour drive from your house. You wanna be there about 30 minutes early to referee that game. So you leave around eight o'clock to get there around 8.30, so you can officiate around 9 a.m. As you're driving, it is just pouring down rain. It has been all night, but the game has not been canceled. Around 8.10, the club who has games, their arsenal, notifies me to say, hey, that game is going to be canceled. So either they, the club official, or myself, will go in and cancel that game. If you have text alerts set up, it will send you a text alert within 60 seconds of canceling on our side, and so you'll be notified as you're driving that, hey, one of your games has just been canceled. You can pull over and look at it and say, oh my gosh, I can go back home. I don't need to go to the field. If you don't have text alerts set up, then you will likely drive to the field. And when you get there, if you happen to check your email, you may notice that the game has been canceled. So please set up text alerts. In addition, it will notify you much more quickly, as I said, when you are offered a game so that you can respond much more quickly to that game offer. Now, the second thing you want to do is you want to go into the availability calendar. By the way, and so text messaging, if I click on text messaging, you can see you've got a bunch of options. You can set the times that you want to receive alerts, et cetera. So please set that up. Now, let's go into availability. Upper left-hand corner, click on the button at the top, scroll down to the availability calendar. Here is the most important thing that you will do in Horizon WebRef because everything is driven by availability. And let me say this, if you don't have availability, you will literally never, ever get a game from me. So let's click on April 2021 at the top right. And that takes us into my April availability. 
So as you look at the calendar here, you'll see that on Thursday and Friday, I'm available after 4.30 p.m. to do games. Saturday, I'm available all day. On Sunday, April 4th, and on Wednesday, April 7th, I am not available at all. I have a weekly Bible study that I attend, but on the second second week of it, on the 14th, I can actually go because there's a reason we don't have it on that second week. So what you want to do is put in your availability accurately here in Horizon WebRef, and it is super easy to do. It's all done via drop-down. Let's say on April 7th, the pastor gets sick and he can't lead the Bible study. He wants he says, we're going to cancel. So I click on not available on April 7th. It pops up and you can see I can have all kinds of choices of things I want to do here. Uh, not available before, available available after, available between, not between, etc. Or I can say I'm available all day. Click on it and there it is. That easy. Now suddenly I'm available all day. Again, availability is the, is the driver of getting games because when I assign games, if I assign a group of games and I click on those games to add an official to those games, it will look and see who's available and then show me a list only of available referees. I will not override your availability. So if, for instance, on April Sunday, April 4th, I'm not available, and that's the case, let's say you were not available on April 4th, and I need to schedule a game anytime during that day, your name will not appear to me, and therefore you will not get a game for me on that date. So please have accurate availability. In addition to that, you need to know when I assign. So I work three weeks ahead, and I do my assignments on Thursday nights going out three weeks. So let's go back to March. So scroll down to March, and today is happens to be... Sunday, March 21st. This Thursday, March 25th, I will begin working on the assignments going out three weeks. So three weeks from March 25th is, let's go to April again, April 1st, April 8th, April 15th. So I will go out to Friday, April 16th, as of Friday, March 26th. So just figure three weeks ahead from Friday and you'll always know where I am. I don't release randomly games. I only release randomly when games get turned back to me or someone adds a last second game. Most of the time I get games in advance. So I'm working on a weekly huge uh, publishing of those games three weeks out. So what I tell my officials is I would go four weeks out. Stay a week ahead of me. I try to send weekly reminders to you to say, please update your availability through a certain date. If you could do that, then, then hopefully you won't forget to update your, update your availability. Because if you don't, again, have availability, then you literally will never get a game. <clears throat> I ask the officials to have about a 98% acceptance rate of all games that I give them. Why? Because you're setting your own availability. And therefore, you're only getting games when you've told me you can officiate. I understand people make mistakes, and I'm forgiving of mistakes. I'm, and I'm still forgiving even if you make more than a lot of mistakes. But if you don't care about having accurate availability and you're turning down a lot of games and turning them back, then basically I will stop assigning you. So please have that accurate. That is one of my biggest expectations. I really does. It really doesn't bother me if you don't officiate at all. That's totally up to you. But I just want you to accept the games that I give you because, again, you have told me when you're available and you're only getting games when you're available. hope that makes that clear. Okay. Um, so uh, um, I also ask that you please accept your games within 24 hours. If you do not accept your games within 48 to 72 hours, your game will actually time out. Now, looking here at the home screen, you see it says you have an unaccepted assignment at 321.21. So, so if you want to see what that's, that's a game offer that has been offered to me. So I'm going to click back on the button on the upper left. I'm going to go to personal schedule, which will be uh, my game schedule for you. And you see the very top line. There's a game right there. It's a miscellaneous adult game that's been offered to me. It's an 8 a.m. Sunday. If I hit the plus sign at the under the action column, I can accept it or the X to not accept it. If I click on the white paper, it, it tells me more details about the game. I'm going to get $30 for that game. Uh, I, I can click on directions at Ambridge High School Field, uh, what, what the time is, what the age group is, etc. All that is right there for me. So I'm going to go back to my, my schedule. There 
Okay, and so there you see me on the master schedule, but let me go back to my personal schedule, and there it is. So if I accept that game, I'm going to hit the plus sign. It will then allow me to accept that if I if I like. If, if you have a whole bunch of assignments, you can go up at the top where it says accept all and just hit the accept all button, and then you can accept them all at one time. So I'm going to hit accept all in this case because it's just one game, and I know I want it. So there I am. Okay, so now I have the game. It's, it's in my game my game assignments in my per referee game schedule. Uh, one real nice feature uh, here is, are the schedule filters. I'm clicking on the eyeball next to the word schedule filters here. And if you look, you can, you can set a filter to show you future games, past games, certain organizations, etc. So you can look and see uh, who you've worked for, who you're going to work for. If you go future games at the very, very top, I'm just going to click future games. It'll show me that I have a game this Sunday, and then I have three games next Saturday. And it shows you who you're working with and everything like that. Um, the T here in the middle between details and referees stands for to, uh, how it's paid. In that case, that is a cash game. You can see the, the dollar sign there. Below that, you have an A and an A and an A. That means it's going to be paid by A, a sign or payroll. I'll discuss that more a little bit later. We're near wrapping up here. Yeah. Big thing again, please accept your games, accept them as fast as possible. Don't allow your games to one time out or two turn them back because when you do, you make more work for me. And it, it is a lot more work for me to sign the second official than it is the first official because I have to go in, delete you out of there, then go back, then go add the official. So you're actually making double work for me when you turn down games. Everybody makes mistakes. And it's going to happen, especially as you're early on, and I, you know, I'm not going to freak out over it. But if you just continually turn down and turn back games as if you're in an a la carte line, then I will, I will quickly recognize that and just I'll stop offering you games. Okay, one other thing here in the personal game schedule. You, some people say, hey, when are the games? How do I know what to make my availability for? Click on the word public. If you click on the word public, mine looks different than yours, but it'll show you quickly when all the games are. And this also has filters. So you can say, let's say you only want to work for Shaler, click on, instead of all organizations, click on Shaler. And come down, you come to Shaler, click on Shaler, and then hit search. And it'll show you all the, all the Shaler games moving forward. Okay. Um, I, I, left, I left it on all, I click on all, so it's okay. Um, anyhow, but you can see you have filters there. And if you, if you do use those, then you can, you can see um, who, you, who you have and who you can referee for and when, when they are, because it has been, the filters work really well. So you look at these are all games that are coming up down the road. So, okay. Um, I just want to tell you about how people pay. Real quick, uh, Fox Chapel pays by ACH. Shaler and Harmerville pay by check, and they pay monthly. So at the end of the first month, within a few days, they'll issue, issue payment, and then it'll get in the mail. Fox Chapel will deposit it right in your checking account. Um, the, the classic games pay cash, and so you'll get paid cash by, by them. And uh, if you want to find the rates, you can go to the document section. You'll find the rates there and any of the rules specific to certain age groups. The video library also has some nice, nice features like about uh, referee mechanics and things like that. Uh, and, and that is really about it. If you have any questions, let me know. But just remember to download the app. Uh, request to join uh, Association 205576, and I'm looking forward to working with you. Thank you very much.